What's up, Vargas Dolphins? Mr. Betts here with a writer's workshop mini lesson. So, do you know what April is? April is National Poetry Month. So, we're going to spend some time this month writing some poems. So, that is super fun. Poems are a great way to write. Um, so, we're the first poem we're going to do is going to be a number poem. So, we're going to use numbers to help us write our poem, okay? So we're going to start with uh, the forest. The forest, that's where our poem is going to be today. We're going to write about the forest. So tell me some of the things you know are in the forest. Go ahead. What are some of the things that are in the forest? Okay. A fox. Good. What else is in the forest? Yes, yes, lots of trees. Okay, keep going. All right, plants, yeah, plants. What else do we have in the forest? Deer, yeah, okay, yeah, deers. Okay, what else? Yeah, rivers, rivers. Let's see, do I have a blue here? Yes, I do. Okay, rivers. Um, and we also might have ponds by, in the forest. Maybe near a river, we have ponds. And what else? Fish? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. If uh, there's rivers, there's probably going to be fish in the rivers. Okay. What else? What else is in the forest? Rocks. Yes. Rocks. Rocks. Lots of rocks in the forest. Okay. Um, let's keep going. What else do you know? What else is in there? in there. Snakes? Yeah, there could be snakes. Sure. Snakes are in the forest. I've seen a snake in the forest before. Snakes? Okay. What else? We got trees, we got plants, deers, rocks. Hmm. What else is in the forest? Paths, yeah, like trails, yeah. People walk in the forest, so there's trails. Trails, or we could use the word path. Good, hope you can see that. Ooh, it's right at the end. Okay, all right, that's good. Now, if you're at home, you think of more things that are in the forest? You can add those two to your list, okay? So, that's a pretty good list of things in the forest. I like it. Okay, so now what I want you to do is looking at our list, I want you to pick five things. Five things, okay? So, um, let me see. Let me go through mine and I'll circle the ones I want to do. I'll do... Well, I know trees are a big one, so I'll do trees and plants. Um, let's get some animals in there. We said fish, snakes, fox. I'll do I'll do fox and deers, okay? And then I know by our forest up here we have lots and lots of rocks. So I'm going to choose rocks, okay? Now you can choose the same ones I chose. Or you could choose different ones. Or you might have even added more words. Um, but don't worry about that. Uh, just come up with five things uh, that you like that are in the forest. Okay. So now we have our ideas. Let's go to how we're going to write this up. Okay. So the title of our poem is going to be In the 
forest. In the forest. So go ahead and write this down. I, 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 and this is capitalized because we're doing a title. Okay, so every word in a title is capitalized unless it's a small word like the or to or a, but it, every first word of a title is capitalized. So you want to do a capital I, small n, then our sight word the, and then a capital F, and here's our OR, or for, that's a sight word for, forest, forest, in the forest. And we could underline that. Great. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start uh, with that. And I remember um, one thing, and I actually have seen this. I told you guys about this. Um, I have seen a fox. So I'm going to write in the forest, I see. Now I'm going to use a number. I'm going to use the number one. And that, boys and girls, is a sight word. I see one fox. And keep in mind, if I'm done with my sentence, I put a period and I have my capital. Okay, so I see one fox. Now, actually, all the numbers that I'm going to be using, one, two, three, four, five, uh, are on your sight word list. You can see I highlighted them in pink. They're in the unit two yellow bag and unit three red bag. One, two, three, and four. When we get to five, I'll slow it down so we make sure we get that right, okay? So I see one fox. Okay, now I'm gonna go on and write my next one. I see two, I see three, I see four, and I see five. But uh, to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm gonna go ahead, I've already done it, so I'm just going to show it to you, but you would have to write all this at home, okay? So you're going to have five sentences about your poem, In the Forest. All right, so let's check out and see what I got here. All right, how about that? Okay, so I still have my title, In the Forest. And I said, I see one fox. I see two deers, so I got my animals, I see three rocks, I see four trees, I see five plants, okay, and I've just completed a number poem using numbers one through five, and it's all about the same topic, and our topic is today the forest, okay, so, once you get your poem written like this, and remember, you could have chosen any of the words you had for the forest, the five you picked, right? Okay, but when you're done with this, how cool is it to take a blank piece of paper and draw your forest? And I've done just that. So, if you look closely here, let me see if I can get this out of the way. You look closely here. I drew my forest, and it has everything that is in my poem, and I labeled it. So I have one fox, I have two deers right here, I have three rocks right here. In my picture, let's see if I can get that better, I have four trees, one, two, three, four, okay? And then down here on the bottom, I have five plants, and it says five plants. So I've used all my words here, to draw a really cool picture to go with my poem. So that's really cool. So boys and girls, again, write your number poem and then draw a picture with all the things that you have in your poem, all right? All right, and I look forward to seeing some pictures on Class Dojo of your poem and your picture of the forest, all right? All right, that's Mr. Betts and I'm out.